Today, Carol finds some shells. We visit the magnificent Arlington Court and try a hand at bird watching before we head off to our next Airbnb in Ilfracoom, one of our favourite towns. We fancied a change from the camper van and so we're doing an Airbnb break. We've been staying at the coach house in Torquay and it's been lovely but now we've packed everything up and left the place as tidy as we can because we're moving on. Right, well we've had a lovely time at the coach house. We have. And now where are we going? Well we're going to Ilfracombe but yep. on the way we're going to stop at Arlington Court which is a National Trust property. As long as it's not too busy. We'll have to see when we yeah. Easter weekend, it might be heaving. Google is offering us two routes and we're choosing the one hour 34 minute version. I'm taking it nice and easy, so we're being overtaken. On nice fast roads, you can't beat the Volvo. It's so quiet and it does a lot of the driving for you. major hold-ups so we've made good time. We're not going to have time to see it all but we'll do our best. It's National Trust so members go free. As usual, the first thing we want to do is get a cup of tea. What have you got? Tuna and sweet corn crunch. Mm. Cheese and onion crisps. Sadly, I'm not as healthy with my little sausage roll and bag of crisps. British chips. I searched online for information about this statue, but I couldn't find any anywhere. I've never seen a wall like this before either. Is it to allow animals underneath or just rainwater? Carol's setting up a camera shop. It's a bit precarious because it's windy. Some of them work, some of them on don't. This one. You can sit on that. <laughs> sit on this one. Oh, not exactly the most comfortable chair. No, nice view though. Nice view. It soon got busier in the hide. My tripod was no use at all with these birds. They're far too quick, so I had to go handheld. It looks like these two are playing hide and seek. The ducks don't want to miss any of the action either. They're here for the scraps from the table. Lady Chichester's urn. But I don't know what it's all about. Nor do I. There's a very pleasant circular walk that takes you from the house down into the valley and back up again. Just got hit. <laughs> Something falling off a tree. Yeah, it was an attempt on your life. Yeah. Yesterday it's seagulls. Yeah. Today it's trees attacking me. Oh no. It's a steady old climb back up from the river to the house. 
we've been lugging our little chairs around with us. So when we reached the top, I pulled mine out and flopped by this little pond. I'm not the only one with this idea though. Charlie Brown's going to look round the house whilst I wait for her here. Come in, hot one. Arlington Court in North Devon was built in the 1820s for Colonel John Palmer Chichester. It remained in the family until the National Trust took possession following the death of Miss Rosalie Chichester in 1949. She loved to travel and amassed huge collections of shells and other items displayed in a private museum. The hall is dominated by an enormous dividing staircase lit by an internal window displaying the various Chichester coats of arms. The historic stables at Arlington Court now contain the National Trust's Carriage Museum. This lightweight carriage was built for Queen Victoria, who used it in the later years of her life in the gardens of Osborne House. St James's Church dates to the late 15th century. The medieval building was replaced by Sir John Chichester of Arlington in 1846. Well, we thought we were done, but as we were leaving, we came across this demonstration about sheep farming at the entrance. It sounded a very interesting talk, but unfortunately we don't have time to stop and listen. We have to get to the next Airbnb. Well, we made it safely to the Airbnb and very nice it is too. So we're going to get ourselves settled in here and tomorrow we're going to explore one of my favourite towns from my childhood. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give us a like, hit that subscribe button and share us with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one.